Uber co-founder and CEO Travis Kalanick has resigned after investors pressured him to step down following six months of scandal and setbacks. In a statement, Mr. Kalanick said, I love Uber more than anything in the world, and at this difficult moment in my personal life, I have accepted the investor's request to step aside so that Uber can go back to building rather than be distracted with another fight. A group of investors sent a letter to Mr. Kalanick Tuesday, expressing their doubt about his ability to implement changes, as the company works to battle allegations that it has a workplace permissive of sexual harassment and sexism. Earlier this year, Uber said it is investigating claims by a former employee that the company failed to discipline a manager who mistreated female employees and ignored complaints of sexual harassment. As a result of the internal investigations, Uber fired more than 20 workers. Huh? What you about the whole business? What? what? You dropped the price. Leaked dashcam footage emerged in February of Mr. Kalanick berating a company driver who asked him about fares at the end of a recent trip. Some people don't like to take responsibility for their own shit. They blame everything in their life on somebody else. But why you send an email for town card? Good luck. Good luck to you too, but I know you don't gonna go far. He later apologized on Uber's blog. This is the first time I've been willing to admit that I need leadership help and I intend to get it. As of last week, Mr. Kalanick has been on indefinite leave from the company, a move he said was to mourn the sudden death of his mother last month in a boating accident. In an email to Uber's 12,000 employees, he shifted his responsibility to 14 direct reports while he is away, stepping in only for major strategic decisions. If we are going to work on Uber 2.0, I also need to work on Travis 2.0 to become the leader that this company needs and that you deserve, Mr. Kalanick wrote. Uber has no replacement for Mr. Kalanick and is running without financial and operating chiefs and other key executives after several recent departures.